And welcome to a venue that began its existence as a cricket ground back in 1855. Football's been played here since 1862. Bramall Lane in Sheffield. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Sheffield United, and they take on Huddersfield Town. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Here's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Sander Berge plays alongside Oliver Norwood in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And so the initial 11 for Huddersfield Town. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. Thank you, Bramall Lane. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there, he's not going to take any messing about here. They might be able to get in now. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. They take it short. McBurney. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. He must finish. And now it is the ideal opening. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Tom Lees, Danny Ward. And he saw the situation developing. Oliver Norwood. Berge. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Patient build-up at the moment. Intercepting it intelligently. McBurney. Just not looking confident in possession. And running room in the wide position. But quick thinking defensively. Tyler Berry, that's Tyler Berry. 
Reese Norrington Davis. Fleck. Now McBurney. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Throw in then to Sheffield United. Nicely cut out. Danny Ward. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. It has to be! Spectacular save, top-class goalkeeping. John Fleck. Well, they couldn't keep it. Danny Ward. Turson has it. And Ward with it. In position. Just couldn't get it through. Oh, great defending. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. We're getting the ball forward. Thomas. Bergen. Oliver McBurney. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Danny Ward. Half time then. That brings the first half to a close here at Bramall Lane. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Berge and a tidy tackle this looks interesting can't miss surely and the keeper was up to the task both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Over it comes. Berge. Sharp.
Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Now oh, showing excellent vision. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Low. Fleck. In possession, Ahmed Hodzic. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Berge. Sharp. Twenty minutes to go. Ruffles. Nakayama. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Berge. Sharp. It's with John Fleck. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door, as he did then. Sharp. Opportunity. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Well, both teams have had substitutes warming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Short corner taken. A really top-notch piece of defending. And room now out on the flank. Time for a change then. Number two, George Baldock, to be replaced by number 23, Ben Osborne. Osborne He's showing a real will to win the ball how can they find a late leveller it's there for him well what an opportunity squandered far too easy for the keeper on the offensive Hogg to be this time we've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes Bergen very comfortable when in possession and there it is the referee blows for full time Sheffield United get the victory and take maximum points how would you sum it up well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. Well, I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.